Hello Apple Valley Eagles. This is Mr. Mons, the principal of Apple Valley High School. The first thing I want to do is to welcome each of you to the new school year. Whether you're a returning senior or a first year student, I want to encourage each member of our community to step out of their comfort zones this year and try something new. Yes, you will be sure to make some mistakes when you leave your comfort zone, but that's where the big learning happens. You'll find that this is a community where people help each other out, express gratitude, and value the diverse interests and experiences that make Apple Valley a truly special place. You belong here, and we're thankful for what you bring to our rich legacy of achievement and excellence as you begin to think about where AVHS can take you. Apple Valley High School is an exciting place to be. As a STEM school that is dedicated to academics, arts, and athletics, students have an incredible number of opportunities to find that spark that ignites a passion for learning and pride in being an AVHS Eagle. The purpose of today's video is to communicate the District 196 rules and regulations to all students, while at the same time introducing you to some of our staff members. It's important that all students listen and understand the expectations set by the district to ensure a safe and positive learning environment for all. Teachers, please make sure to mark attendance on both campus and the sheet provided to you by the Student Support Office. Have a great start to the school year. Thanks again for being with us here at Apple Valley High School. At AVHS, we're committed to delivering quality education through our AAA philosophy. Placing education at the forefront, we aim to acquaint you with dependable adults you'll encounter daily. We acknowledge the highs and lows that come with high school life, including conflicts. While our preference is to keep conflicts outside our walls, we recognize that they sometimes find their way in. As compassionate adults, we're dedicated to assisting you in navigating these occasional turbulent waters. Should you ever find yourself struggling to make it through the day, facing safety concerns, or dealing with issues, we expect all students to promptly reach out to someone. Our hope, or rather our firm expectation, is that each one of you will have a trusted adult to turn to regardless of the nature of your concern. We understand that for many of you, this might be your first experience at AVHS. And you might be wondering, who can I really confide in at AVHS? The encouraging news is that a multitude of us will be there to welcome you at the entrance, accompany you outside of your classrooms, share in moments in the lunchroom, stroll through the hallways and support you throughout the day. It is the responsibility of the adults in this building to create a learning environment where you feel valued and safe. Our staff will strive to get to know you as a person, greet you at the front door, in the hallways and in our classroom. Please seek us out if you're going through some rough times or if you have drama in your world. We would love to check in with you and offer support. It is our goal to help you navigate through your day in a way that doesn't add additional negative things to your plate. If you're shy or do not have a trusted adult here at Apple Valley High School, please have your parents reach out to your administrator. We want every student to feel safe, happy, and healthy while you're in our building. Being a student is a tough job. It isn't fair to anyone when students do not connect with trusted adults when they are facing challenges. Failure to connect with a trusted adult during difficult times just sets everyone up for potential problems. Please utilize us. We are committed to you and your future. Hi Apple Valley High School students, my name is Ms. Bile and I'm here to talk to you about a variety of topics all relevant to creating a safe, secure, respectful, responsible, and scholarly learning community. Let's start with student IDs. Because we are a large community, not everyone automatically recognizes or knows all students and staff members. Staff members wear their ID badges and you may carry your student ID with you. If you don't, please be prepared to identify yourself to the adults in the building if asked. Students receive new IDs a few weeks after picture day. Should you lose yours, replacements may be obtained for a cost in student services. Leaving and returning to the building during the school day. Apple Valley High School is a closed campus during the entire school day. Leaving campus for lunch and going to your car without permission is not allowed. Any students needing to leave the building during the day must have parent or administrative permission and must obtain an admit to leave. Admits are obtained at the attendance window or from your administrator. 
leaving school without an admit is grounds for detention or other consequences. Your safety and attendance in school are our concern, so please do not leave the building without an admit to leave. If you arrive late or return to the building after an appointment, you must enter through door one, the main entrance. You must check in through security where you will receive your admit to class. Please note, Apple Valley High School is closed to all student visitors at all times. For your safety and the safety of the school community, all students coming early or staying after school past 240 must be under the direct supervision of a teacher, advisor, coach, or other staff member. Our cafeteria and vending. All students who eat breakfast, lunch, or snack food items obtained from the cafeteria or vending or from home, please respect the student body and impress the staff with your manners. Consume all food in the cafeteria during breakfast and lunch. Clean up after yourselves and don't leave a mess. Dispose of trash in the appropriate receptacles in the cafeteria and throughout the building. Help keep our entire building clean, presentable, polished, and with eagle pride. These are the District 196 Students' Rights and Responsibilities, the guidebook to school discipline used throughout District 196. Engaging in these behaviors can result in police involvement and expulsion from Apple Valley High School and all District 196 schools. Please follow along. Student expulsion. First time offense categories include arson, intentional destruction or damage to school or district buildings or property by means of fire, aggravated assault, committing an assault upon another person with a weapon or device used as a weapon or as an assault which inflicts great bodily harm upon another person. Physical assault upon a staff, including agents, volunteers, and school resource officers. Acting with intent to cause fear and another person of immediate bodily harm or death. Intentional bullying. Inflicting or attempting to inflict bodily harm upon another person. Any intentional harmful or potentially harmful physical contact or bullying initiated by a student against a staff member will be considered assault. Burglary. Entering a building or a specific area of a building without consent and with intent to commit a crime or entering a building without consent and committing a crime. Chemicals. Intent to sell, give, or share, including possession of certain felony drugs, selling or sharing chemicals or drug paraphernalia, or offering to sell or share chemicals or drug paraphernalia, including through electronic communication. Felony level chemicals include specifically cocaine, ecstasy, MDMA, heroin, prescription opioids, non-medical methamphetamine or meth, or magic mushrooms will result in expulsion. Robbery or extortion. Obtaining property from another person where his or her consent was induced by the use of force, threat of force, or under false pretenses, including through the use of electronic communication. Sexual violence. A physical act of aggression or force or the threat of aggression or force which involves non-consensual sexual contact or sexual intercourse with another person including intentional touching of clothing covering a person's intimate parts, intentional touching of a person's intimate parts, forcing any person to touch any person's intimate parts, or intentionally attempting or actual removal of clothing covering a person's intimate parts or undergarments. Theft. Or knowingly receiving or possessing stolen property, unauthorized taking of the property of another person's, or receiving or possessing such property over $1,000. Threat of a bomb or violence with the purpose of terrorizing another or with reckless disregard of the risk of causing terror in another directly or indirectly communicating a threat of a bomb or an other act of violence against the school or another individual, including through the use of electronic communication. Possession of weapon or look-alike weapon. Possessing any firearm intended to look like a firearm, any knife, any device or instrument designed as a weapon and capable of producing severe bodily harm or intended to look like a device or instrument 
capable of producing severe bodily harm or any other device, instrument, or substance which in the manner of which it is used or intended to be used is calculated or likely to produce severe bodily harm or looks like it is calculated or likely to produce severe bodily harm. Also, please take note, offenses committed a second or third time may result in police involvement and expulsion. False alarm. Intentionally giving a false alarm of a fire or other emergency notification system, such as 911, tampering or interfering with any alarm or alarm sensor. Physical assault upon a student, damage of or tampering with property vandalism. Intentionally damaging or tampering with the property that belongs to the school district or other student employees or others. Unauthorized use of fire extinguisher. Unauthorized handling of fire or fire alarm sensors. Possession or use of fireworks, using, possessing, or offering sale of any substance, combination of substances, or articles prepared to produce a visible or audible effect by combustion, explosion, deflagration, or detonation. Mace, pepper gas, or taser possession. Possession of mace, pepper gas, tasers, or similar substances designed to cause pain or injury. Theft knowingly receiving or possessing stolen property, unauthorized taking of the property of another person or receiving or possessing such property over $500. If you have any questions about these or other offenses listed in the Student Rights and Responsibilities Handbook, please speak with an administrator. Bottom line, be safe and make good decisions. Violent student behavior. Any student who engages in behavior identified as VSB and the consequences chart will be identified as a student with a history of violent behavior. Whenever possible, teachers will be notified ahead of time if a student identified as VSB is in their classroom. Principals have discretion to provide notice to other staff members who also interact with a student. Our aim is to keep Apple Valley High School a safe scholarly learning environment where all are welcome to gather, participate, and celebrate success in academics, arts, athletics, STEM, and beyond. If you ever come across something or someone that raises concerns, seems suspicious, or makes you feel uneasy, it is essential that you promptly inform an, an adult staff member. Your safety is our top priority. We encourage open communication and invite you to discuss any of the topics covered today to ensure the well-being of everyone at Apple Valley High School. Good morning, Apple Valley High School. I'm Mr. Tinder. I'm one of the administrators in the attendance office. And today I need to talk to you about three major topics. The first portion of my program today will cover student behavioral expectations. And we have two major expectations I want to briefly outline for you today. The first expectation is we expect all students here at Apple Valley High School to respect the people and the property that surround them. Everyone, regardless of who they are or where they come from, deserve to be treated with respect here at Apple Valley High School. Harassment and any type of bullying will not be permitted here at Apple Valley High School. At this time, I'd like to go over the district policy surrounding cyberbullying with you students. Cyberbullying is defined as the inappropriate use of technology such as, but not limited to, personal websites, web pages where students and or staff members are verbally abused, verbally assaulted, bullied, defamed, threatened, harassed, or terrorized, and the conduct impacts the ability of the school to maintain order and discipline. It is important to note that discipline may result from conduct that takes place from your personal or school computer. The conduct can also take place at school or at a remote site. Students who are disciplined underneath this category can face additional discipline um, infractions as well. Students, it's also important to respect the property that surrounds you. A lot of time and a lot of effort has been put into maintaining an educational environment that is one of the best in Minnesota. At this time, I'd like to go over the school district policy surrounding damage to property. It states, intentionally defacing, cutting, or otherwise damaging property that belongs to the school, district, other students, employees, 
or community members is prohibited. The consequences for this offense range from a three-day suspension to an expulsion. Students, it's important to be respectful to the people around you. You need to follow instructions given by all staff. Willful refusal to abide by a staff member's instruction is referred to as interrupting or disrupting the learning environment. Consequences for such behavior could range from detention to suspension. Our second major behavioral expectation that we have for you today is that you're accountable for your own learning. Remember, it's gonna take a lot of work in order to graduate from Apple Valley High School. And it is our goal as a staff to support you throughout your high school experience, but also challenge you to become the best student that you can become. If you disrupt classes, there will be consequences. Keep in mind that your personal technology device can turn into a nuisance device. The school definition for a nuisance device is any personal belonging that could cause a disruption to the educational setting. The consequences for having a nuisance device range from a detention all the way up to a multiple day suspension. Remember, students, you are welcome to use your personal technology devices before school, at lunch, and after school. You can also use your personal technology devices when you're encouraged to by your teachers or staff here at Apple Valley High School. If you're not given a direct instruction to use your personal technology device, you should keep it stowed away so it is not visible and audible to others in our learning setting. The first step to academic success is good attendance. Unexcused absences will lead to detention and also possibly Dakota County involvement. It is important that you're here, students, and it's also important that you turn in high quality work. Put your best foot forward. Do not accept half credit or no credit for homework assignments. When you're gone, you are also responsible for all of the work that you've missed. Contact your teacher or another student as soon as you come back to school in order to receive your work. Students also have your parents write a note if you're gone or call the attendance office. These expectations will not only save you from school consequences, but will lead to academic success. The second major topic I'd like to talk to you about is chemicals. It's important that you understand the school rules surrounding chemical possession and use. The school district policy is as follows. Possessing, influenced by, or using any narcotic or controlled substance or any item purported or believed to be a narcotic or controlled substance or possessing or using drug paraphernalia where the possession or use is prohibited by Minnesota or federal law or the over-the-counter or prescription drugs for the purpose for mood alteration or using certain substances including synthetic marijuana or any related derivative for a mood altering effect or attempting to purchase or obtain any of the above, including through the use of electronic communication is prohibited. Consequences for drug use or possession range from a four day suspension to an expulsion. The last topic I need to talk to you about students is the topic of theft. Theft is defined as the unauthorized taking of another person's property, receiving or possessing such property. The consequences for this particular type of offense range from a three-day suspension all the way up to an expulsion. Remember, if something does not belong to you, you need to return it to an adult or you need to leave it alone. I also have some very important information surrounding how you can protect yourself from being a victim of theft. The first piece of advice that I have for you is make sure that you have a lock for your gym locker. Over 90% of all of the thefts that happen here at Apple Valley High School take place in a locker room setting. It's also important that you do not bring valuables and also large sums of money to, to school. Students should also have their calculators engraved. And we would engrave your calculator for free in the attendance office and we would also provide you with a pass if you are late to your next class. And the last piece of advice that I have for students is to make sure that you do not share your locker combinations or your lunch codes with other people. Our goal here at Apple Valley High School is to provide an environment where individuals feel safe 
and can realize their full potential here at Apple Valley High School. And so I wish all of you a wonderful school year. And if you have any questions, I'm located in the attendance office. Hey, here's a couple of other things that we should talk about so you can have a successful school year here. Number one is tardies. It is critically important that you get to your classes on time. At three tardies, the teacher will meet with you, talk a little bit about it, remind you of our tardy policy. At five tardies and subsequent tardies, there can be school discipline imposed. So please make sure you're showing respect for yourself, your teachers, and your classmates. Next, we're going to talk about our policy and all of District 196 policy on fighting. District 196 defines fighting as adversarial physical contact differentiated from poking, pushing, shoving, or scuffling in which one or both of the parties contributed to the situation by verbally instigating a fight and or physical action. Consequences will be decided by your administrator through a system of progressive discipline. Students should also know that if you are involved in a fight here at school, you may be issued a citation by the Apple Valley Police Department which will require you to head to Dakota County Courthouse in Hastings for your court appointment. Please make sure you are aware of this and we work out our differences in a positive manner. Next, we're going to talk about a very important issue titled harassment. Harassment is participating in or conspiring with others to engage in acts that injure, bully, degrade, intimidate, or disgrace other individuals. This includes indecent exposure, displaying pornography and harassing words, or actions that negatively impact on an individual or group because of their characteristics, including the use of electronic communication. Harassment based upon an individual's group sex, race, color, creed, religion, disability, national origin, marital status, family status, age, sexual orientation, genetic information, or public assistance shall be handled as harassment. The consequences for harassment are as follows. First offense is a one-day suspension. Second is a three-day suspension. Third offense, a five-day suspension. And a fourth offense would be expulsion from all District 196 schools. Please make sure we are treating each other with respect and dignity as we go through this educational experience together. Finally, let's talk a little bit about social media. This is one of the growing areas in all schools, both positive and negative in our school climates. Social media can be a wonderful tool as we get information out to schools, to parents, to students about our activities and our successes. But social media also has some negative consequences when used incorrectly. What we would like to talk about right now is think. That before you post something on social media that you think. Think is an acronym in our social media world for the following. T, is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? And K, is it kind? Before you post something, if you could think, and if it fits into those categories, what a great thing to put out there. Put inspiring messages to others, supporting your teammates, congratulating your classmates on a job well done, all wonderful uses of social media. But please make sure you think before you post, as those actions can have consequences here at school. Have a great school year. Make sure that you're following the things that we've talked about. Get involved with activities. Show respect for one another. Take responsibility for your actions and make sure you're ready to learn. And we will have a great school year together.